A student asked to help find the molality of a solution that's 10% by mass or by weight of H2SO4 sulfuric acid, and they were given the density is 1.84. Now, density for solutions is almost always done in grams per milliliter. You can also say grams per centimeter cubed. That's important because we're going to need the volume in a moment. Molality is moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. And it doesn't matter how big the sample size is here, as long as you're counting the number of moles that happen to be in a certain amount of the solvent. Here's what's important here. Let's, we have this density, right? Let's say that we have one liter of the solution. That one liter is gonna be a thousand of these. One liter will be 1840 or 1840 grams of the solution. That's the mixture of both H2SO4 and the water that it's dissolved in. Now, if it's 10% by weight, means that there's 10% of this amount, 184 grams of H2SO4, and the rest of it, the 90%, is however much remains. 184 of the 1840 is water, 1840 minus 184 leaves me with 1656 or 1656 grams of water. Now one of these is the solute and the other is the solvent by definition. The one that there is more of is the solvent. So what we need to do is fill in this formula. 184 grams of solute will have to get converted into moles. This number of grams of solvent will have to get converted into kilograms. Actually, that's going to be really easy. But how do you convert grams to moles for something like sulfuric acid? Moles is mass divided by molar mass. 184 grams divided by, oh, what's the molar mass of H2SO4? Well, you might have to add up the molar masses of the elements that make it, you have two hydrogens along with one sulfur. Oop, I'm just going to make sure that I use the point one that the periodic table I'm using gave me. And we have four oxygens in that formula, so I'm going to add on four 16s. My molar mass here is 98.1. 98.1 grams per mole. All right, 184 divided by 98.1 gives me 1.876 moles. All right, so that's the number that goes on the top of the molality calculation, 1.876 moles. And we're going to need kilograms of solvent Oh, to convert grams to kilograms, we just divide by a thousand. That's 1.656 kilograms. Great. This is just going to be a quick calculation divided by 1.656. I end up with 1.1326 moles per kilogram. If we use uh, significant figures, well, let's assume that that's, up, that's 10 point. That's two sig figs there. This is three significant figures. My molar mass had three significant figures. Let's assume this is two significant figures. It's going to be 1.1 molal. Molal is a lowercase m. I like putting it in, in italics so people know it's not any other capital M. And there you have it. The point is you can find molality as long as you're given density and percent by mass. You just scale up how much of the solution you have to, well, you don't even have to do that, but I like working with bigger numbers. Your percent by mass tells you how much of it is solute. The rest is solvent. Then you can convert grams of solute to moles and convert your grams of solvent to kilograms and you're done. It was a beautiful thing. Great calculation. Great request. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.